So I just finished a 12 base tour for the Air Force. They sent me out to do 12 shows across the country for the Air Force. It was awesome going back and performing. I was in the Air Force myself, so it was awesome to go back. Let me, let me do a check right here through how many military veterans we have tonight. Clap your hands if you're military veterans. Woo! All right. Go vets. Go vets. Okay, let's do a room check. Where are the Army veterans at? Army. Woo! Give it up for the Army over there and back over here. Marine Corps, where are the Marines at? Any Marines here? No, 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 everybody stay still. What? Watch, once a Marine, always a Marine. They don't know when the war ends. I have no Marine jokes. <laughs> Where's the Navy at? Anybody from the Navy? Anybody serving the Navy? Anybody shop at Old Navy? <laughs> An Air Force, who's in the Air Force with me? Right over here, give it up, my brother over here. We were this close to being in the military. <laughs> you don't realize how tough you aren't when you're in the Air Force until you get out and you have to go to the VA to be with all the other veterans. I see a Marine limp by, he goes, Vietnam took a bullet. I see an Army soldier go by, Gulf War, shrap metal. I'm standing there with the wrist brace. <laughs> But I still wanted to act like I was tough. I was like, U.S. Air Force, carpal tunnel, email, 05. <laughs> I'm better now, I'm better now. <laughs> so I go out in these 12, 12 Air Force bases. One of the bases was so far into Texas that the nearest airport was in Mexico. They said we could fly to Mexico or drive six hours across Texas to go to this base. I said, I'm not flying into Mexico. I know who won the election. You're not getting rid of me like that. <laughs> so we drove from San Antonio to a base all the way out by the border. And an hour away from the base, we get stopped by an immigration checkpoint. Me and two other comedians, I'm driving the rental car. And I pull over at an immigration checkpoint. And I quote the immigration officer. He walks up to the car and says, are you a Jewish citizen? <laughs> like, are you a Jewish citizen? <laughs> and then we were in Albuquerque, New Mexico, when we were performing at a base. When we got there, they briefed us about how top secret this base was. But they had the hot air balloon festival going on, and hot air balloons were accidentally floating over the base and landing. And I witnessed this, and the military police were very nice. They just escorted them right off the base. I saw this happen, and I called my uncle in Mexico. I said, there's a new way to get in. <laughs> and they can't build a wall big enough for this one. Oh, that would make him mad, huh? If we had hot air balloons. What do you mean they're floating over the wall? <laughs> We're gonna tax the air. We're gonna tax the air. <laughs> I'm not left wing, I'm not right wing, you know. I get my political views from my grandfather, a very wise old man from Torreon, Mexico. I went up to my grandpa one day, and said, Grandpa, what do you think about a woman's right to choose? He said, mijo, I think everyone should wear shoes. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.